Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. You're here with David Thrussell. It's been like, I know, it's been like four, five, six months almost. No, it's been two weeks to flatten the curve. Two weeks to flatten the two curve. Two weeks to flatten the curve. Nine I months swear. ago. We're going to talk about that here with David Thrussell, free thinker up here in the uh, sunny climes of, uh, you know, an secret undisclosed location. location. An undisclosed location. <laughs> the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to talk here with Mr. David Thrussell. We'll divide this up into, say, two or three parts, see how we go. But, sure. David, good to see you. Excellent we're back. to see you. We're back. It's, right. been, yes. it's been four or five months. We've broken the ring of steel. Enjoy um, your freedom. I'm while enjoying you my can. freedom. Yes. Wasn't it strange? Wasn't it strange the way that when Daniel Andrews decided that the COVID thing was over, it was over? It was very strange in the sense that, like, that's... he locked us down for like three or four months, and then he said, oh, no, that's enough now. And then that was it. We've had nothing but zeros since. That's because he's got a big knob. Yes. Pardon my French. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> is that why the women like it? <laughs> and they just turn it to zero when they want, and they turn it up when they want. It's all very predictable. I think all the numbers were all extremely predictable. So it's like a lotto machine or a bingo kind of sure. call, except yeah. that it's fake. In other words, yeah. when he wants zero, it's just with zero whenever he wants. Sure. He's yeah. super yeah. computer. Honestly, I'm going to come straight out of my closet. I do not believe one single word of the whole thing. Not one word of the whole thing. <laughs> so you, you're, a, you're a person who thinks that there is no COVID-19 at all? Oh, I, look, mm. there, there may be some scary of something that's yep. remarkably similar to the flu. In yes. fact, the flu? The flu, yep. yeah. Uh, so we've been locked sure, down because of the flu. You know, but as in, as far as a, 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 a pandemic? No, it's clearly no, not a pandemic. I mean... Uh, you know, it's, there's no pandemic in the history of the planet that disappears when you turn the television off. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that doesn't, that's not a, th a real thing in the real world, that's you know? True, and this yeah. thing, if you turn the media off, yep. um, it evaporates. It vanishes. It vanishes. It's not anywhere. You know, where are the piles of bodies in the streets? Where's the, mm. I mean, what we've had and what we've lived through and uh, mm. what I suspect we'll be living through for a long, long time is, um, uh, you know, this, this enormous tsunami of government and media fear porn yes you know and when if we were in the middle of a real pandemic mm -hmm. okay or if you know we had been whatever they would be doing the opposite of that you know it's very they'll obvious. be trying to calm you they'd down they'll be trying those. to calm the public yes, down yes, they'd yes. be very responsible yes, yes. but they've been doing the opposite yeah they've you know, been every, far every newspaper i've looked at has got has had the banner up the top with the supposed case numbers and the supposed death numbers and blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's straight out of Fear Porn 101, isn't it? You know, like it's there to terrorise the public, to make them submissive, make them obedient, make them demoralised. Mm -hmm. It's straight out of your sort of Stasi playbook, actually. And it's, it's quite extraordinary. And it seems to work to a large extent. I mean, so many people... If you believe the media... Mm -hmm. See, this is where I have completely departed from the mainstream media. I don't want to ingest their bullshit mm -hmm. anymore because I simply don't believe a word of what they say about anything. <laughs> Actually, none of it. None of yeah. it. So if you believe them, yes, most people believe this thing that, that defies the laws of common sense. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's just their narrative. I mean, it's yeah. always been this way to some degree. Mm -hmm. You know, the mainstream media has always generated this kind of fantasy or this hologram but it's mm. been the dominant fantasy or the dominant hologram but it is a it's a it's a mirage actually the, the world of the mainstream media is false it's false from top to bottom i know it's very strange and then in, in, in south australia they they announced they had you know 10 or 20 cases but you can see it's like they felt like just turning the dial up in, in a place like south australia where it hasn't been there hasn't been a case there for almost six months and then they dial it up a little bit then the whole you know state goes back into lockdown for a few weeks and you know, so, so do you know, do you remember this great uh, German film, The Lives of Others? This uh, German, yes. it's about the East German, the Stasi. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Stasi, um, you know, surveilling everybody, yeah. blah, 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 blah. So all this stuff became really reminiscent for me of uh, this, this sort of Stasi 101 stuff. Yes. Which was in that film, this sort of, uh, the interrogation scenes, the Stasi interrogation scenes, where you would see that, and this is typical of all, totalitarian regimes yeah. you know they would throw out a little crumb of hope mm -hmm. and then they would slowly pull it back in will you in yeah and then they'd throw out another little crumb of hope mm -hmm. and then they'd slowly pull the string back in they do this over mm -hmm. and over again to break you 
to demoralize you yes. and break you. And you could see in the whole narrative, this went on for six months. It thing, was about you know? that. And they nearly went too far in South Australia because they announced they were closing bottle shops. It was almost a revolution. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think that's the one thing that the, that the elite know not to do in Australia is close the bottle shops. <laughs> you know, they close the bottle shops and that literally, it's literally people are digging up, uh, you know, weapons from like, you know, the, the Eureka <laughs> Stockade. Rusty old three. <laughs> Rusty old muskets. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Because uh -huh. it's, it's the Eureka Stockade then. But like, uh -huh. yeah, un until, until they cut off the alcohol supply, it seems Australian. It, it is absolutely extraordinary. And I mean, it's almost to me, the amount of way people have gone along with it, it's almost like, you know, I live in an area where it's it's reasonably well to do middle class white people, and when they go exercising, there are people. And you, if you're jogging and if you're riding a bike, you don't have to wear a mask. But people are still wearing a mask on their own in the middle of nowhere, jogging, and and it's like sure. the, the propaganda has sunk into something. Like it, I almost sometimes think, you know, maybe humanity does deserve slavery. You know, what I mean? it's so stupid. Sometimes, like to, you know, like I think, I think the narrative is so barefaced and so transparent, and yes. so weak. Yes. And as as I was saying to you off camera, in a way, I see this whole fraudulent narrative as a, a loyalty test. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is this is testing. Okay, so how loyal are people to the regime? Yes. You know, uh, and I think it's absolutely fair enough to call it that now, really. You know, mm. and how loyal are they to this? hologram this fantasy that the mainstream media generates you know? and it's hard and, and some people are incredibly loyal to it absolutely you know? and, and i mean look, i know a lot of people who believe it 100 percent. and um i know some people who are still very loyal to, to daniel andrews even and who were like oh look what a great job he's done now because obviously there hasn't been a single case you know we locked down for like <laughs> five months i know i know <laughs> turn the knob down <laughs> I yeah i, I know I, I, i've heard that you can basically take anyone's test and if you Run it, run it through a couple of cycles, it's negative. But if you run it like a thousand times, it's positive. So it's like they decide whether the test is positive, the people doing their testing. Sure. It's a bit like a, you know, a vote in the US election, which we'll get onto later. But, um, you know, I mean, and, hey, what do you think of this whole Great Reset? I mean, this I mean, this was always a thing that you and I had spoken about. You know, yes. it was like the New World Order, and we've all heard about this. But really, it's got, that's gone from the back burner onto the front burner. It's yes. like this just Charles Schwab or whatever, and... And Klaus, there's been Klaus, Klaus Schwab, Schwab, Klaus yes. Schwab, yeah. and uh, you know, and there's been that there's been this ad. It's been getting some traction, and it's actually been upsetting some people because it's like you know you will own nothing and you will be happy. It's and I love that you will be happy. You'll be happy because you'll have no other choice but to be happy. It's like well, they've taken the model for the Chinese Communist Party, what the way they are running China, and think, Let, that will work all over the world. And now is, it's like this is this is their ideal yeah. scenario, obviously, and they've made it very plain. Mm. These things like the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab. I know the, um, you know the, the video that you that you're talking about as well. You know, which has now been removed, actually. Yeah. Yes. Because it wasn't popular. Well, no, it gave the game away. Gave you the know, game away. It was too transparent. Too you transparent. Know, it gave the game away. You know. Mm. So they're not subtle about their designs, and I mean, when you look, I mean, I, um, we've discussed this before, I'm sure, but when you look in the rearview mirror mm. now, from this point. It all becomes very, very obvious, you know, yes. what's led us to here. I would argue that identity politics has led us to here and virtue signalling and all these things. So we've got a population that desperately, because most of the population are kind of internally weak and demoralised, mm -hmm. they're desperate to search you, to, uh, you know, signal their virtue. Yes. You know, so this is the perfect thing, you know, you mm -hmm. can wear your mask and you're so virtuous and blah, 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 you know, you're loyal to the regime and, yep. you know, blah, 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 blah. This this has all been built in, you know. Yep. Nine eleven brought us to here. The the and they cancelled that guy Pete Evans because he was he got into conspiracy theories or being a free thinker. Pete Evans, you know him. I'm him? aware of him. I don't know. Yeah, him yeah. Anyway, he recently yes. uh, he posted something that was a bit you know uh, a bit fashy. You know what I mean? Okay. Had had a, had a kind of black sun in it. You know what I mean? And then suddenly. Uh, He's, you know, everyone's cancelled him. Channel Nine sacked him, and okay. everyone who was sponsoring sure. him. You know what I mean? So you know, sure. you know. That's, I imagine uh, they were just looking for some tidbit that they could. Justify yeah, I mean, it was a picture of a butterfly. You know. It wasn't exactly, you know, a picture of a swastika. But anyway, <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know, but I mean, this. I mean, even the the whole um, conspiracy theory narrative. Yes. Works perfectly with this thing because you, mm -hmm. anybody who dissents or disagrees or even yeah. has really basic common sense questions mm. which are very obvious Is a conspiracy around. theory well they're they're um they're illegitimate you know yep. they're, they're Ill Ill illegitimate they're wrong thinkers mm. and you can dispense with them they can be removed from the dialogue you know mm -hmm. that's all led us to this spot now where we are you know we're right on the precipice of complete totalitarianism i mm. think 
you know, and it's not even subtle. Mm. I mean, it Klaus Schwab and the World yeah. Economic Forum, uh, they're not even subtle about it. I mean, as and you say... And obviously Soros that, that is a video, major part of that as well. You know? Yeah, that video where they say, in 2030, you will own nothing and you will be happy. Mm. As we were saying off, off camera, mm. well, somebody's going to be owning everything. <laughs> Somebody, exactly. but it ain't you, it ain't you it though. Ain't me, it, it ain't you or me. You, you know, but someone will be owning everything. <laughs> I know. It's and like... you will be renting yeah, it yeah, from, from them. <laughs> it sounds a lot like slavery to me, you yeah. know, in the company Surfed, store, yeah, you know, yeah. where you've got your strip, yeah. which is only redeemable, you yeah. get from the, 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 you know, the coal mining company, yeah. you can only redeem it at the store, you yeah. rent. Well, everything. there was some an article I read, it was written by a woman and it was in 2030, and another thing, it was like, you, you know, you, basically all private property is gone, and also you don't live with anyone who's a member of your family anymore. The family has been broken up, so you yes. share home with other workers, so you live with four people who are workers, right? It's and then you sleep, yeah. at, you sleep at this place, and then when you get up, somebody else uses your house as a workplace. So during the day, that's... Hot bedding. I think it's called hot bedding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So your, your house becomes like a, an office for another group of people completely. And then at night, you come back to this weird place and then you sleep there yeah, again dormitory. with four other people yeah. who are in like a dormitory. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. sounded like a complete fucking nightmare. And uh, it was written by a female journalist. I can't remember her yeah, name. I read it. I read it. You read it. Yeah, it was about a year ago or something. Yeah, it was about yeah. a year ago. Yeah, funny timing and all that stuff, know, isn't it? Now, right now here we are, boom. You, know? What's you funny, should always it? be worried about utopians. Oh, yeah. Utopians. These are the people that you need to be really frightened you of. You do. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Like that article. I've read the one that you read a yeah. year or two ago. I yeah. remember it. Wasn't that long well. ago? It was you know? just before this kicked off. What do you know? Funny <laughs> that, isn't it? Just like all the talk surfaced in The Guardian and the ABC, you can always see what the enemy is up to yep. by scanning those, yep. um, about the UBI, about the Universal Basic Income. Yeah, see, that exactly. That surfaced a year or two. Mm. And, I, and I noticed because I, I had people, these, you, mm. you, you sort of standard bourgeois 101 types uh, all of a sudden in the space of a week mm. i had like five people saying mm. oh i think you know, what we really need is a universal basic income and i went oh yeah. here we go they're obviously banging this pretty hard in the abc or the guardian this week and that's because they know? were yeah. and they were yeah, yeah. and they float this idea which is a horrific idea mm. i mean for that to function you're talking about utter utter complete on every level government control government surveillance of everything of every aspect of human endeavor yeah. for that to function it's okay shocking, yeah. it's a nightmare it's mm. an absolute nightmare and you what you you can trust the government to institute a thing like that in some sort of mm -hmm. not corrupt equitable way I no, mean, I you, serious? So. you can't trust them to tie their own shoelaces in a non-corrupt kind of way